Ugh. I just remembered something I wish I hadn't. Hmm? What's wrong? Did something happen? Nah, uh, it's nothing. Never mind. All right, I'm going back inside now. You should come in soon too, okay? It's probably going to start any minute now.
was wonderful. Everyone danced so beautifully. I wish I could dance like that. Yeah, and wow, I never knew Frederick was that good either. Huh? Good at what? At the piano, of course. Weren't you watching? Didn't you see him playing? The way he played was just so amazing. Way better than any piano player I've ever heard before. It was almost like he was a real professional pianist. What? Are you saying Frederick was playing that music? I was watching the people dancing the whole time. I didn't pay any attention to who was playing the music. Hey, you guys! We have to go see the captain. Hurry! See the captain? You two need to stop calling him the captain. You should call him Prince Crescendo, for he is the Prince of Baroque. I'll bet the captain's going to have a face prepared to thank Frederick for playing the piano. It isn't fair if they get a head start. Oh, so Frederick has already gone to join Prince Crescendo? Yeah, and if we don't hurry up, they'll eat all the food. I wonder if they're going to feed us something really good. Come on, let's go. I don't want to miss out on that.
Mr. Chopin, thank you for your stellar performance. Allow me to introduce my fiance. This is Serenade, and the little one with her is Minuet. Hello. I am very pleased to make your acquaintance. Hey, what's going on here, Salsa? They're just talking about boring stuff. I don't see food anywhere. Well, I just thought they were probably going to eat all the good stuff before we could get here. There is something I wanted to tell all of you about the position Baroque is in right now. Count Waltz is using mineral powder to convert his population into soldiers who fear nothing, not even death, to create an unstoppable army. As soon as his preparations are complete, it is almost certain that he and his armies will invade Baroque. However, if Baroque were to preemptively challenge Forte, many innocent civilians would surely get caught up in the resulting all-out war. The suffering of innocence is one of the greatest tragedies of war. It's appalling. So, what are you gonna do now? Well, I thought that the solution to the problem would be to find a way to assassinate Count Waltz to avoid any other casualties. So I aided on Dantino. But you see, I am opposed to that plan. I believe assassination would be the equivalent of a declaration of war against Forte. And if we were to do that, would it not be the same kind of evil for which Count Waltz is responsible? History always repeats itself. Even if we manage to succeed in assassinating Count Waltz, another Count Waltz would appear, then another. The problem itself would still remain. If we throw all our support behind a band of rebels, I believe it will be Baroque that is disgraced in the end. I see. And you're correct. Looking back on history, mankind does indeed repeat the same mistakes, over and over again. Someone else with evil designs will surely appear to fill the void. If it's really as important as all that, how can people just forget about it? It's because the passage of time allows us to forget tragic and painful events. We let them go so that we're able to continue on with our lives. Like letters written in sand and then blown away by the wind, they're all forgotten. But there are some things we must never forget, no matter what. Tragic memories that we have to carve firmly in stone, so that the wind can never blow them away. I have a favor to ask. I understand that all of you are acquainted with Jazz? There is a message I would like you to pass on to him. It is this. Baroque can no longer provide you with any assistance. No matter how much of a tyrant Count Waltz may be, we cannot be absolutely certain that he's ever going to attack us. To attack him first would be a classic example of man's suspicious nature leading to war. Serenade, I know in my heart that everything you've said is correct. That's why I wanted... What is it, Captain? Never mind. We must achieve true peace, not simply the appearance of it. But, because of the current situation with Forte, there is no way I can leave Baroque at the present time. Besides, if I were to be seen making contact with Andantino, that very thing alone could act as a trigger for war. Could you perhaps meet with Jazz and tell him for me that this struggle itself is the very thing that's leading the world into chaos? What do you mean exactly? You would like us to inform Andantino that Baroque can no longer provide support for its actions. Is that correct? I'm sorry to have to ask you to do this. 
Oh, is that all? Deliver a message? <laughs> That's nothing. Reddle and the others are probably already looking for us anyway. If we can make our way back to Retardando somehow, I'm sure we'll be able to find Jazz. No problem. That's true, Beat. We certainly can't just stay here like this forever. Besides, I'm sure my mom is worried about me, too. It's a little far, but I think we should go back to Forte. All right, then. Let's return to Retardando for now. If Allegretto and the others are all right, I'm certain that they'll be on their way there as well. Hmm, I wonder if Marsh is holding out okay. She's totally hopeless without me around. So, what should we do? It looks like we'll have to cross over that mountain. It'll be pretty difficult with all the snow, but Red Ordondo is in that direction. Well, let's go! I'll bet Reddo's at the hideout right now wondering when we're gonna show up. No way do I want to get lost in those cold mountains. Oh, I really wish I was back in a go-go forest. Indeed. Let's be certain we're well prepared before setting out on this journey.
listen. You love it. Now you will rest. Shooting star. Orange glow. Much better.
dare to bear your fangs? Foolish creatures! It's a dove. 
But I'm surprised to see one flying over a cold, snowy mountain like this. It's strange. Who cares about a bird at a time like this? Let's just go inside already. So Clavace became enamored with him, even though she knew she couldn't escape her deception. And that he'd eventually learn she was a spy. Oh well, once we have an endless supply of insane soldiers, there'll be no need to spy on Andantino. What about the one in Baroque? You mean Serenade? No, she's very dependable. And besides, her interests coincide with mine. What do you mean? Forte would be in a difficult position if we were to be attacked before we finished developing a more powerful mineral powder. Even when Serenade marries into Baroque, she is still a princess of Forte. She's the perfect person to prevent Baroque from starting a war with us. She won't let them follow a path that could harm Forte. More importantly, Fugue should be searching a go-go forest for glowing a-go-go's. I want you to go there as well, and if he's slacking off, give him some encouragement. Yes. Ah, it's so warm in here. Hmm, there's something familiar about this place. It reminds me of my home in Tenuto. What's going on? Well, you see, each and every one of us has a jewel inside our hearts. A jewel? That's right. And that jewel is called an Astra. For some people, it glows very brightly, but for others, not as much. Nevertheless, everyone has one. I wonder how much your Astra is glowing. Um, uh, well, there were some cookies I ate without asking you, so... Maybe mine's not glowing. I'm sorry. Ah, so it was you that ate them. But you told me the truth, so it's all right. I'm sure that your Astra is still glowing. I don't know. I'm kind of worried. Hey, Mommy, do I still have time? If I do a whole bunch of good things, will it glow even more? Of course it will. Then I'll start tomorrow. Oh, you won't start today? Oh, Polka. Your Astra is glowing. But it's glowing far too brightly for this world. It's glowing so brightly that it is unconsciously leading you toward a deep darkness, one that must be illuminated. And then someday, the time will come when the abyss of the sea will open up before you. Oh, I wish, how I wish you weren't the only person who could bring light to that dark ocean floor. If only there was someone else who could take your place, then it really wouldn't matter if your light ever dimmed. Polka, what's the matter with you? Hey, are you feeling all right? Uh, uh, it's nothing. I just felt dizzy for a minute. That's all. Well... The mountain air up here is very thin. Perhaps that was what caused your dizziness. Thin air, huh? Now that you mention it, my head has been hurting too. I guess it's just time for us to take a break. My legs are all worn out from all that climbing anyway. I agree. Let's try and get a little rest before we continue on, alright? I'm being led toward a darkness that must be illuminated? The abyss of the sea will open before me? What does it all mean? <laughs> <laughs> 